Jim Peters with Steve Hanlon on the sidelines at Lucas Oil Stadium. Steve, one down, two to go. The Rensselaer Bombers, 45, Evansville Modern Day 21 in the Class 2A State Championship. Welcome to Black Friday, Jim. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was a beatdown. That was as impressive as I've seen. I mean, usually games are a lot closer. Uh, Rensselaer just wore Modern Day down, and the second half was all Bombers all the time. We've seen this team score a ton of points over the over the seasons, years. <laughs> um, yeah, but today on this stage, most impressively against uh, an undefeated team that, had, uh, you know, at least in the AP poll came in number one, while Rensselaer came in number one in the coaches poll, and just uh, broke the record for rushing yards and rushing attempts in a class two A championship game. It uh, uh, doesn't get any better than that, does it? I think they broke a record for the number of broken ankles by <laughs> modern day defenders. They could not keep up with the speed. Uh, you know, Rensselaer was getting around the edge, the corner all day, offensively and defensively. It was just an unbelievable ball game, an unbelievable effort by a great program, a great community, and a great group of coaches. Yeah, we'd be here all day if we had counted every player that carried the ball for Rensselaer. I think there, uh, there were five on just the first drive, and then there were a few more after that. Just great misdirection, great, great mix of different backs, and able to keep a uh, a very aggressive defense off balance, and that was the the key for what they were able to do offensively, and then defensively, a kickoff return. Uh, a big play right before the half on a on a fortuitous fumble bounce, but uh, other than one drive, Modern Day was not able to sustain a consistent uh, 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 drive offensively. No, it's just what people Rensselaer fans have seen all year: dominant, aggressive defense, uh, and an offense that just can't be stopped very often. It, you know, uh, on this stage, I think we both picked Rensselaer to win. But, um, you know, to do it in the way they did today, it was just unbelievably impressive. They've been knocking on the door close. This, is their, uh, this was their fourth semi-state since 2009. Broke through last week against Central Catholic in order to get here. Just the, just the way the community and the football team uh, em embrace each other. Just, just wonderful to see. I mean, what an incredible crowd here, and they, and they put on a great show for their fans, which, in which included Steve Roberts. Yeah, just unbelievably, you know, uh, a guy who means so much, you know, who's got some really tough health right now. Every kid on the team went over, gave him a hug. Uh, he's in our thoughts and prayers, and, uh, you know, no matter what happens in the future, his heart, his spirit was lifted up by what a bunch of teenage boys did today in Indianapolis. Rylan Arhood was the uh, mental attitude winner uh, as, as well, just to add a little uh, icing on the cake to the uh, Rensselaer State Championship. And uh, uh, back for a couple more tomorrow, what do you think? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's do it. Sure. Hey, they wouldn't let us do any bomber jacks on the sidelines. So, hey, uh, Steve's at least raising his arms and lowering them. So uh, I imagine uh, we'll have to uh, go back to Rensselaer for a bomber jack party tomorrow. Sounds good, young man.